Hi hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. It's good to have you. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed you. Where have you been? The question, where the hell have I been? Anybody who caught the work week top and bottom, you already heard the spiel. I'm just busy as hell right now. It is June 1st. I have not thrown down cards for the first half of June for anybody yet. I apologize. So I'm kicking it off. Um, hopefully between now and the middle of the day on Wednesday, I can get all the signs done, get all your messages out, and easy breezy peach keen. So, Gemini, it is your season. You will go first. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the first half of June, if it resonates with you, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, here's your journey and I'm going to just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. It might not. It's not going to resonate for every Gemini. It's a general reading. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you would like a little bit more insight or something that might resonate a little bit better. Or forget you saw the reading altogether. Whatever you want to do. Just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and cross watchers you guys you're always welcome here come on in have a seat we'll talk all right one more shuffle we'll get it going if i can get the damn cards to shuffle we're going to try that one more time probably be the only reading I do tonight. <sighs> Energies are just crazy right now. There's lots going on. And not just in my little universe, there's lots going on all over. But we're going to be okay, right? Gemini, why are you here? Queen of Wands. Passion. Hmm be a fire sign you're dealing with. Leo, possibly, to be specific. Doesn't have to be a Leo. Doesn't even have to be a fire sign. She's intuitive. She's empowered. She doesn't take shit from anybody. She's pretty cool. Gemini, I think you may have come to a place where... You're ready to move forward on something. What do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Three of Wands. Either you feel like you're waiting on them or they're in a state of waiting for something themselves. That, that's, that's iffy. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a minute. Pardon the glasses, pardon the glare. My head is pounding. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse possibly might feel like they're a little bit clingy. Mm -hmm. Codependent, maybe self-absorbed. I don't know. That's pretty sketch itself. What do you want from them? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is a card of return. Hmm. Gemini, are you waiting for somebody to pull their head out of their butt? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. You might be waiting for closure. It's a downward turn of events. Something hasn't closed out. How do they feel about you? The Nine of Wands. In the reverse. Walls tumbling down. You're wide open. Weapons on the ground. I'm hearing weapons on the ground. What do they think of you? Six of Wands reversed. Hmm. Lack of victory. You didn't make it through the battle. It's 
sketch, sketch, sketch. What do they want from you? Seven of Swords reversed. Truth? We want truth? We want truth to come out? Okay. Hold that thought. Ah, oh, just a stupid email. Sorry. I had to make sure it wasn't work. What is the challenge or obstacle here? Eight of Cups. Someone needs to move on from something and they haven't. Hmm. Well, what needs to be done? The Magician popped out in the reverse. That's the Puppet Master card, boys and girls. Perhaps someone needs to cut some strings. It's all coming together. All right, let's get a little clarity for our Gemini friends. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity for my Gemini friends, please? For their first half of June reading. Why is the three of wands here? Ace of Pentacles reversed. You waited and you waited and you waited and the seat hasn't grown. Didn't sprout. Hmm. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Five of Wands, Confrontation. There may have been a confrontation because they didn't feel like you were paying enough attention. You weren't attentive. Confrontation, one more. Don't everybody talk at once. Princess of Pentacles reverse, things went stagnant. Maybe you saw them as confrontational. Codependent, needy, clingy, but yet holding back. It's like mixed messages, mixed signals. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? Thanks. Prince of Wands reversed. Oh. Yeah, you're waiting for them to pull their head out of their butt. Decide what they want. Nine of Cups. You're waiting for that fulfillment. You just want to be happy, Gemini. You want them to decide if they want to be happy with you. If you're waiting on closure, you want to move forward. Something hasn't sprouted. You've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been waiting. There's been confrontation, there's been delays. 
mixed messages. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here for how the other person feels about Gemini? The world. One more. The Hierophant reversed. It just wasn't working out, it wasn't connecting. See, was vulnerable. The connection, the connection just isn't there for them. They feel like you already ended it. They feel like you've already called game. Why is the six of wands reversed here for what they think? Seven of swords. They think you're hiding something. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. They think, that for whatever reason, you've called game. You're not saying why. You've already ended this. That's what they think. That there is no going back. That they lost the battle. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords reversed here? Look for what the other person wants. Queen of Wands reversed. They want to know why it didn't move forward. They want to know why you lost passion. Ace of Cups. They want to know why. They want to know why it didn't work. Why am I getting the feeling that the answer's in the question? Obviously, someone was giving mixed signals here. Gemini, I think you wanted what you wanted, and you wanted it now, and they weren't sure what they wanted. They were clingy, they were needy, they were codependent, but at the same time they were confrontational and it was blockages and delays and mixed signals. <coughs> Why is the Eight of Cups here for the challenge? Eight of Cups flew right out. The uh, challenge here is somebody already moved on. Cold game. Eight of Cups clarified an Eight of Cups. I'm gonna, I could sit here and beat that card to death, but there's no point. Okay, why is the Magician reversed here for what needs to be done? King of Wands reversed. A forward movement. Princess of Swords, Four of Cups. <sighs> Cutting strings, except that it wasn't going to go anywhere. One more.
Prince of Pentacles reversed. Say nothing, do nothing, cut strings, cut ties. No apologies, no forward movement, nothing. The cards are saying do nothing and ignore it. What? What? Outcome? Two cups reversed. Gemini, I'm sorry. Apparently, you're ready to move forward. Apparently, you already did. Or the other person did. And that's all I got. It's a very direct story. Okay, well... What the hell? Clarify the Two of Cups reversed, please. King of Pentacles reversed. End game. Finite. Offers off the table. Wow, Gemini. Let's get you some advice. The Empress and the King of Pentacles upright. You need to work on you. You need to feed things and nurture things that have hope for growth and expansion. You need to take control back. Nine of Swords in the Tower reversed. Don't allow rebuilding this tower to consume you. Because I don't think there's anything to rebuild here. I think you already done walked away. The Nine of Wands reversed and the Princess of Wands. Lay down your weapons and move forward. Keep walking. Keep trucking. Prince of Swords and the Four of Wands reversed. They're both reversed. Cut ties. Slam the door. Be done. This is like the most cut and dry read I've ever done. This is, I, I don't know who needs this message, but God bless you if you do. Gemini, this is, your, this is your first half of May. Let me know in the comments what's going on or shoot us an email. The email address is in the about section of the channel. In fact, I think it's down in the description. I don't know Emma handles that, to be perfectly honest with you. I just click and load. That's all I do. But like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. Um, let me know what happens. Wow. Um... Yeah, I'm curious to see if the cards give us the rest of the story for the second half of June. Whew. Yeah, um, I have a couple personal readings in the pipe for this week, but I'm wide open for more, so if you're interested in that, um, shoot us an email. Um, speaking of personals, I have someone chiming in now, so... <laughs> Gemini, love you to bits. Thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you guys um, on Friday for the weekend top and bottom. Be blessed.